They are about 15% of women of reproductive age who are either married or living with a partner, as if a married who needs to be included in family planning activities or initiatives. The minister was speaking when launching the 2017 World Population Day activities in the country. We have a report. Around the world, over 225 million women who want to avoid being pregnant are not using safe and effective methods of family planning for different reasons. These women are found in 69 of the world's poorest countries. It is for that reason that the United Nations implored member states to focus on family planning when celebrating 2017's Population Day under the theme Empowering People, Developing Nations. When launching this year's World Population Day activities, the Minister for Economic Planning and Development in the Kingdom, Prince Langusembe, said the Kingdom is committed to further strengthen family planning initiatives. We have uh, covered a lot of ground, but much work uh, remains to be done. We need to reach out to those women who would like uh, to avoid becoming pregnant or who wish to postpone childbearing but are not using any family planning methods. This group is about 15% of women of reproductive age who are either married uh, or living with a partner as if married. Among this group, the most affected are women who live in rural areas and who have an, an improvised uh, background. These are the women we need to target to achieve His Majesty's Vision 2022. Another critical uh, population segment worthy of attention is that of adolescent girls. Currently, the adolescent birth rate stands at 87 per 1,000 girls aged 15 to 19 years old. And uh, teenage pregnancy is one of the main factors contributing to school dropouts in the country. Sharale Amikalil, who is UNFPA representative in the kingdom, applauded the kingdom for having covered much ground around this subject of family planning. Amikalil was represented by Makar Twala. Family planning is also key in the attainment of sustainable development goals, SDGs, especially SDG goal 3, target 3.7 on universal access to sexual and reproductive health. Family planning is a facilitator for achieving other SDGs, such as the goals on ending poverty, ending hunger, promoting good health and gender equality. The Kingdom of Swaziland has done so much in the area of family planning. In 2014, about 66% couples were using one or two methods of family planning. Yet, there's so much that still has to be done. 15% of couples, especially those in the rural areas, need to be covered. They need to be involved in family planning initiatives. For Society TV News, I'm Linton Gule with Enet Mabaso at the Mbabane Government Hospital.